consistency. Is it a winnable game? Is it achievable? That was my question for this month's challenge with the Movement Maker. I met Evan this week and I was thinking about how consistency is what we're aiming for. And then I was thinking, okay, why am I, what am I missing to actually be consistent? And that is the topic for today. Stay with me and see if we can get tricks on how to be more consistent. If you're like me, you would say that uh, the issue with being consistent is that life uh, takes over. We have family uh, responsibilities, things we need to do. We also have responsibilities at work. We have responsibilities for our friendship. Uh, in society, making sure that everything works well. And on top of that, we have a responsibility to stay healthy, do what we need to do so that at the end of the day, you are ending a day being satisfied that you're healthier than the morning, a place where you are more satisfied with your work, a place where you're more satisfied with your family, with uh, your relationship. So think about that. Sometimes you may think, well, that's a lot to expect. But well, if that's a lot to expect, what can we do to make it easier? Now, there's work that needs to be done. Don't, uh, don't take it the wrong way, but we need to work hard. Now, the question is, working hard sometimes has a negative connotation. Okay, so instead of saying working hard, how about saying that we are working towards mastery? Think about that. We want to master our health. We want to master our health because the healthier we are, the more we can do, the happier we can be. Okay. Now, if we want to master our, master our relationship, now mastering relationship is amazing because then you can have deeper conversation, deeper, um, deeper discussion on how you can evolve and be great together. You can also master what you do at work. Uh, if you think of skills, we often think of master electrician, uh, we have stars in movies, we have master architect, uh, we have engineers that are doing amazing work. Think of, uh, of uh, composers, musicians, uh, plumbers. I had a house once and I was talking to the plumber and his work was amazing compared to a lot of the other people I had seen. There was no sod, uh, so when they were, he was doing soldering, it was very nice joints. There was no, um, uh, let's see, you have the metal that trips on the side. Some people let it go on the floor or they put aluminum to protect against fire. None of that was there. It was minimizing the soldering he was using. His work was beautiful. Mastery is possible in your work. Okay, so we talked about mastering what we do in our lives for health, mastering what we do in our family for our family, mastering what we do at work for work. So keep in mind that these are possible and I'm not talking about working hard. I'm just work talking about doing what we can do to master uh, what we do. And I think too often we forget that. Because when you think of consistency, what you end up thinking is the fact that, okay, I want to be consistent with, uh, with uh, my family. So I want to go have game days on Wednesdays, have a, a dinner around the table. And then at work you say, oh, I want to be more consistent. And then sometimes you end up working f more hours. For a relationship, you say, I want to be more consistent to listen to our partners, to listen to our friends. The issue though is at some point, we feel there's no more time and we get overwhelmed. And even though we're seeking for consistency, we get so overwhelmed that we stop completely seeking, okay, I need a breather because it's not going anywhere. Okay, so how can we stay consistent? Well, I would say that I think that we need to reflect on the fact that if you want consistency, you want to simplify your life. And I was reading a book earlier today. Uh, it's the, the Five Hour Club from uh, Robin Sharma. And he was talking about how, if you, about our lives, and if you want to be better for yourself, there are four things that you need to think about. One is mindset, the other one is health set, the, the other one is, let's see if I can remember, 
the other one is heart set and the last one is soul set and you know what I was thinking about that and I think soul set spoke to me the most so let's see those four parts the first one is mindset so if you think of mindset uh, let's see my notes here I was thinking oh yes no let's see uh, mindset uh, okay taking care of your mindset is the fact that we all have ideas we all have goals we all want to achieve a better life so this is the mindset it's up here it's in our mind we have ideas and we want to get it done same thing with uh, if you think of having kids when you have kids sometimes you have a parent saying oh I have to show that to my kids my kids need to learn that from me so parents feel that they have I don't know 18 20 years to show them to show the kids everything they know and hope that they'll be great or at least for some you hope that they survive and they always do because we don't know what's the future we don't know what we can share with them to make sure that they are okay and as a teacher interestingly enough when I see students I don't see it that I have only so many months or so many years I see it as the fact that we have we have a lot more time to guide them towards what they feel is important to them because if you can do that the beauty is that the students the, the teenager the person that is in I don't know 12 years old 15 years old 17 years old you give them a chance to reflect and see what's important to them so for some people or some parents they feel they only have 18 years for teachers we have up to 12 years to show them so the perspective is different and it's just a mindset shift so if I have goals that's important if I have ideas it's important but if I want to be consistent on my mindset I really need to simplify what I need to do because if you don't simplify what you want to do instead of having 15 ideas adding one more to be consistent won't do the trick you actually have to sit down saying okay if I want to be consistent let's see what are the key parts of my life what are the key goals because if you simplify what you want to do instead of having 15 ideas you say well I'm gonna work on six what will happen is it will free up some mental energy some emotional energy some some time in your day to actually achieve what you want to do get closer to your goal and be more consistent so having to simplify what we want to do is important and you know what I'm guilty of that every day and that's why I'm thinking about this topic today so that I can be better and I want to watch that video again and again and again hoping that I will get the message and I do this video for you as well now here in the book uh, 5 a.m. club the other mindset no the other set he's thinking about is about heart set now the idea often when you think of heart set is about love and you want to love others you want others to be loved by you and if you think of your family we give so much to our family members our partner at work we give so much for the company for our uh, colleagues we give time we give energy we give support but too often when you think of heart set we forget to take care of ourselves as well so sometimes people will say well I appreciate what you're doing for me and often people would just brush it off saying oh it's my work it's my job and so on take time to appreciate what you do appreciate who you are this is part of heart set because if you don't appreciate all of what you are of all of what you do then how can you expect to be even more of a giver so that's something to keep in mind and the heart set is easy so here again we if you can you can think that you can love the, love the world you want to change the world and be there for billions of people okay that's so big how can you achieve that well it starts with one person it starts with you as a human you want to appreciate who you are your value and that you're loved that's important and once that's done you say okay what can I do to be there for 
one person. That one person will be there for you as well. And then it will grow to two, three, four, and that's what leadership is all about. As a leader, you want to be there for others, but you want to allow others to be there for you, for themselves and each other. And I think that's how a movement can grow and that's how a movement is born. It's quite amazing when you think about that. And uh, I was with Evan with, the, uh, with his master, a master class. No, what is it called? It's called, um, let's see, a mastermind. The mastermind we did on November 22nd. So when you think of a mastermind and Evan, what he was saying is you need to get back to the basics. What is important to you? So because once you find out what's important for you, then it's easier to move forward because you are going with your core values and, and not someone else. And that's something to keep in mind. In this book, 5 a.m. Club, the, th the third part is about health set. So let's see. Uh, very nice. So when you think of, oops, when you think of health, uh, health, we have to keep in mind that we have only one body and we need to be there for it. Um, as, a, as a parent, as uh, a teacher, too often I focus on that, on family, on work, and I forget my health. And something that sometimes I need to keep in mind is that if I don't take care of my health, how can I be there for others? Because our health is, I would think, at the core of what we can do, because that's giving us energy, uh, to be living a longer life, and being able to uh, be there for others. So when I think of health, I need to go outside to go for a walk. And as you can see, today is a very rainy day. I'm trying to take care of my book because it's drizzling. But I figured I wanted to have a chat with you. And what a better place than do it outside. So here so far, we've talked about mindset. We've talked about, um, so mindset. We've talked about heart set. And the other one is uh, health set. These are all important. Now the fourth one, that's the one that hit home for me. So here, uh, Robin Sharma talked about what we call soul set. And when you think of your soul too often, we say it includes your idea, what are the goals you want to make the world and your life a better place. It's part of your heart, what you feel is important for yourself and others, and also health set knowing that uh, you want to be healthy so you can be there for others. So how can we do that? Well, a soul set is, a, is all of that together. And I was trying to think of a way to summarize it. And sometimes I tell my students about this idea of a Swiss cheese. So if you are taking a science class, uh, your knowledge is like a piece of Swiss cheese where you know more or less everything, but there are some holes inside. So it could be a key concept because maybe the teacher was didn't explain it as good as you needed to. It may be because uh, you missed a day or maybe that day you didn't feel very good and you did not understand a concept. So what happened is in a science class, you're there and you know just more or less what is happening. But in reality, there's a few things you're, few things you're missing. So that's for the mind. For at the heart, keep in mind that some people, uh, we like to feel that we are loved in our lives, but some people sometimes they may have needed support and they found a way to go on with life without sometimes some support, some, of the, some love they needed. And therefore, if you think about love to them or they're sharing their love, it's like a Swiss cheese. They give love, but there's little holes inside uh, them, inside their heart that doesn't make them uh, all the love they can be. And the third one is health set. So if you think of your health, all of us know that we need to be healthy. We know that we need to be active. We know that we need to eat well, to sleep well. So in some ways we know, it's like a Swiss cheese, we know more or less what needs to happen. However, there's those little holes here. Some of us can be much bigger to the fact that, okay, I can sleep well, like I do. Uh, I can be, uh, let's see, I can eat well uh, most of the time. Uh, on the other hand, with all the things I have to do, I'm not as active as I can be. 
and I think uh, for the, one of the reasons for that is maybe I don't play enough. Going outside, play with friends, uh, with the bar, enjoy nature. And that is something that I, for me, is that idea of a Swiss cheese. I know what I need to do, I know about here what needs to happen, but I'm not quite there yet. So the idea is, okay, so how can you, uh, can, how, where, no, let's see, how can you be there for your mind, your mindset? You need to simplify your life, so instead of having 10 goals or 12 goals or ideas, bring it down to six, and then you have time and energy to focus on that. If you think of a uh, heart set, in, uh, what you need to do is try to focus on, first of all, on yourself, to limit where your energy goes so that you can ground yourself to move on to better places. And you have to see, are the people in your lives are the best persons or the best people for you? Is there room for new people so that you can grow? So you have to see. Not that uh, it, friendships, friendship is not important. Not that some of your friends may not be important. But sometimes we have to see relationships between people as something to grow and sometimes we complete a relationship for what we needed to do at the time. I learned that from Ms. Lisa Nichols at some point. She, she mentioned that, that sometimes we, ha uh, a, we complete a relationship or a relationship, the journey of a relationship gets completed so that you can acknowledge that it's time to move on and it opens the door time and space and heart space for new people. The other one is the health space. Sometimes I have to, to say, okay, there's so many things I could eat to make better. That's true. Let's limit the menu for a little bit and then you can add to that. Then instead of being worried about all the things you need to eat or you should eat, make fewer food, fewer better food for you for sleep so instead of saying oh i don't sleep enough and it's not um i don't have a good sleep time well let's see what you do before you go to bed maybe it's time for you to go for a little walk to read a book instead of uh watching the screen a movie or social media so you limit what you think is important so that you can make room for your sleep and so these are all things to keep in mind now, do I have all the answers of the world? Not at all. Am I getting better? I think so. In order, and I, this activity and exercise about consistency has been very hard for me because I realized that even on this YouTube channel, I haven't been as consistent as I could have been. Now, I have a YouTube channel for my students uh, in French for science. I've been consistent, consistent for about a year and a half every week. I made a commitment for that and I ha and in order to do that I have to ha I had to set aside a few things I had to do so that's good so if I want to be consistent in other ways let's see what I can focus on and let's see what is not as important because you need to be there for your mind and your mindset you need to be here for your heart your heart set you need to be there for your health your health set and ultimately your soul we live once, may as well to make the best of it and take care of our soul set. On this, I'm going to put here a link to a video where you're going to learn something new. I'm very happy to see this, uh, to talk to you today. Keep in mind that uh, you can rewatch that video. I will certainly watch it again and again. And uh, I care for you. Take care. See you in the next video.